Okay, part two of the Miss Gordenko tutorial. Now we're going to tackle the solo part. Um, the cool thing about this solo is that it's uh, it's based on it's following the chord. It's basically based on the E Phrygian dominant scale, uh, which Andy uses uh, another time, ironically, in another Stuart Copeland song, "Bombs Away." But he plays it in a different key. But the, he uses the E Phrygian dominant here in this song, which basically outlines the E7 chord. And if you're not familiar with this, is the E Phrygian dominant scale is basically just a um, a harmonic minor scale starting on E. So the harmonic minor scale of A would be A, B, C, D, E, F, G sharp, A. Okay? Except with the Phrygian dominant scale, he start, it's going to start on the E. Same notes, just starting on the E. So it would be E, F, G sharp, A, B, C, D, Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, you hear it's got that kind of exotic sound to it, and he uses that uh, over top of these chords here. So um, it, uh, the riff he starts off in is on the 10th fret on the G, G string, and it basically goes like this. F, E, D, B. repeats it twice and then it goes E F to the B And then it goes up to the B on the 12th fret and basically does B, D, and F. And then goes over here, plays the F with the pinky, and pulls off to the D. And then slides down to the B here, and then plays the B note on the seventh fret on the E string, and then okay. So B F E E flat goes back up to the E. When I play it, I like to pull off these notes on the B string, but just for clarity, just so you can hear them, uh, and I'm playing it slower too, obviously, um, it's a little easier for me to pick it, but when you play it at speed, I, I usually like to use a little, you know, just, you know, it sounds a little nicer if you do the, you know, pull-offs and hammer-ons. And then after that part, after that riff, he goes to the E to the F, and then to the A on the G string, A to the C, up. up. After you do that riff, then it's modulating up to um, the uh, A. It's 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 I believe it's it's the A mixolydian. So because it's it's following the A, it changes up to the A major tonal center. You're leaving the Phrygian dominant and going to the A tonal center, but it's more of a mixolydian scale because you're you got that G note in there, um, and it's following the progression between the A and the G. You know, you know that progression that he's playing over top of. So. Um, and the riff he does, after you do that...
So it's basically just outlining an A chord here. So E, A, C sharp, but you actually pick it one. Okay. And then it goes A, E to the D. And then back to the uh, back to the um, arpeggio. And then at the very end, he goes back to this little A to the E to the D and does it three times. I'm sorry, it does it four times actually, but it goes and then does it three times in a row, kind of fast. And then it goes right back into the, um, you know, to the A minor riff, the arpeggio riff that you played that I showed in the previous video. So that's how to play the solo. Um, that's and the previous video goes on to talk about how to play the arpeggios and the chords in the first part of the song. Um, I find it easier to play the the finger picking obviously with the fingers, and I usually keep the pick in my mouth, uh, and then I go to the pick when I go to play the solo part. It's a little tricky getting from the from the finger picking, so uh, it just takes some time, practice, just to get that together. But I hope this has been helpful. Um, it's a really cool song to play, a lot of fun, and I hope this has been helpful for you. And uh, until next time, I'll probably do more police tunes because I love them to death. And uh, have a good day.